Hey, so I thought I'd just hop on here really quick and uh, give you an update. My mood um, from, let's see, since the I'm struggling video a few days ago um, has definitely improved. Um, my MRSA infection in my nose is almost clear after being on antibiotics for about five days. Um, but a new development <laughs> today is that I actually fell while I was holding the baby. I mean, granted, she's 15, 16, almost 16 months old, but still, um, I was wearing my shoes because I was ready to go uh, back to my apartment, and but she was in the kitchen standing on a pile of flooring. She climbed up there and couldn't get down. So I kind of went behind the table and I picked her up and turned, and I was carrying her out from behind the table when the toe of my shoe caught on one of the chair legs and I started to go down and I almost corrected it, but then I tripped over a toy that was left there. And I did that cat thing, you know, how they can twist their torso to land on their feet. <laughs> so kind of in mid fall, I twisted so that she would be on my stomach and chest when we landed and I hit both elbows really hard on the ground. Um, and my, you know, my back's twisted and my knees hurt and blah, blah, blah. I think it's just exacerbated all of the pain issues that I've had. So I'm going to be extra grateful, I think, for pain meds and muscle relaxants tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to um, take those also before bed tonight. So hopefully I won't get too stiff overnight. But uh, yeah, it's not. It's not uh, ideal to be having falls, and especially not when holding the baby. So I'm glad she she's okay. She didn't hit her head or anything. I had a good grip on her, but she was definitely scared. She cried and cried and cried. Even when her mom picked her up, you know, she raced over when I fell and made sure baby was okay while I laid there and <laughs> got my got my gumption together to be able to get up and move along so yeah that wasn't fun um I'm, I'm not one who gets embarrassed terribly easy as you can probably tell by my tmi <laughs> videos on here talking about symptoms and stuff and i wasn't exactly embarrassed that i fell but it was more like oh boy here we go you know because every time i go to the doctor they always ask have you fallen in the last you know 60 days or whatever and so now I have to say yes again. The last time I had a fall was about a year ago, actually. Yeah, it was about a year ago. I was climbing up a sand dune at um, Bullard's Beach and, you know, wanting to go down the other side to get to the beach. And <laughs> when I reached the crest of the sand dune, I stood there for a minute. I had my two canes on and I was wearing my back yeah, backpack. And I stood there for a minute and what my feet started to kind of slide in the sand. And then I tumbled head over heels, round, 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 plop. And I landed sitting up with my legs kind of spread apart. And I'm looking around and there aren't any people close by. <laughs> like, okay, I can sit here for a minute until I get up. And I thought, I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> um, anyway, I know as we get older and more unsteady, these things are bound to happen, but um, I don't want them happening when I'm holding one of the kids and I don't want to scare my family and I don't want to hurt myself. And I guess what it boils down to is I don't want to lose my independence, at least as much as I have. Um, yeah. I won't go into any more detail about that right now. That topic will be for another day, but um, it's just hard um, to acknowledge, admit, <laughs> accept that uh, I am getting older and um, falls are more likely just because of the condition of my joints and muscles. So anyway, I'm okay and the baby's okay and that's what matters. But, uh, yeah, I fell. So, talk to you guys later. Bye.